Grace Lee, and she's with the National Spokesperson for Generation Opportunity. Yeah. Uh, we, we saw you in the Stossel Show and um, wanted to ask you some questions about your views on redistribution of wealth. Yeah. You think the uh, government should redistribute its citizens' wealth? It's doing too much of that already. I mean, redistributing wealth through taxes simply shuffles money from one person's pocket to another. Uh, that does nothing to, to, to minimize the income inequality that exists in this nation. And I think a lot of Americans feel like the system is rigged against them. And they're not wrong in that. Um, when you look at what we really need to address it is a simple flat tax. Eliminate the loopholes. Eliminate all of the corporate welfare that allows big businesses to benefit and keeps out uh, keeps out entrepreneurs or new competition. Eliminate the loopholes that allow, uh, frankly, wealthier Americans to continue to remain wealthy and uh, middle class and even lower class Americans not to benefit the way they need to. And then let's grow the economic pie so that everyone can see their wealth and their incomes rise across the board. Should the government protect all peaceful citizens against people that want to use force to take their money? <laughs> if you're referring to the IRS, I believe the IRS uh, required to, the, the IRS certainly sees our paycheck before we see it. Uh, and, um, you know, <laughs> that's a kind of an awkward question, but I mean, that's what, that's what we, that's the system that we have now. Do I want to see a system where Americans are not forced to give up so much of their paycheck? Absolutely. Let's lower the tax rates in this country and see how, how the economy flourishes and how, what, lower income, middle income, and wealthy Americans are able to do more and better. So you think the government should protect peaceful citizens against people who want to use force to take their money, or it shouldn't? Are you, are you referring, what, what are you referring to with that question? Well, are there people that want to use force to take other people's money in our society? Are you referring to redistributionist policies? Any group of people, either directly or through the government, that want to take, use force to take other people's money. So I think you're talking about special interest. And yes, there are special interests in this country who are able to secure privileges um, if, through the tax code for their own benefit and for their market advantage. That's not fair. I think we, we need to see a marketplace where everyone can compete freely um, and, and comp compete fairly. That's from the small business to the big business. And for individuals, that's making sure that we all are paying into the system, but not paying too much where we can enjoy qualities of life that you know, our, our uh, grandparents and our parents before us were able to enjoy. So the government should protect us against people who want to use force to take our money, right? If you're talking about making sure we don't redistribute uh, wealth in, through taxation, then that's what I would agree with. Okay, so can you live well if other people can legally gang up on you and forcefully take your money? Uh, I, I think, um, I'd like to kind of cut the, this interview because I'm not yeah, sure where it's going. I, I, we can cut it short for now. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, what it's not a, it's, is that a bad question for you? Not no, for me. Unfair? Is it an unfair uh, question? Your question. Um, is it an unfair question? I think I've answered your question in lots of different ways with but the same answer, which is that the government, we don't need redistributionist policies that but take this is from, a different question. from this one to another. You, I hadn't asked you this question. I, you thought the question was unfair? I, what I'm asking you is, is, is this the same question? And I'm giving you the answer that I don't think it's, we don't need redistributionist policies. And when it comes to the use of force, I'm not going to get into that. I think that's a totally different argument or a totally different conversation. So you think that you can live well if other people can legally gang up on you and forcefully take your money? I want to see everyone having a quality of life that, that's best for them. And I don't need to set the standard. The government doesn't need to set the standard of what that should be. And uh, the government's role is to simply ensure that we can compete fairly in the marketplace and have an equal and fair opportunity in the marketplace to secure our own benefit. So redistributing a citizen's wealth would be violating that principle, right? I, I absolutely agree, and <laughs> I agree with that. Okay, Patrice, uh, you asked to stop the interview, so I'm going to respect your wishes. Thank you so much. Yeah, I apologize. Right. Yeah, I just felt like the question could was at first. It was yeah. Bit, um, Maybe it's I okay. In unfair direction. We can, uh, we can discuss something else if you want. I mean, uh, I, I um, racism. Is that a... Most likely not, I would assume. Yeah, I mean, as an organization, we only cover economic issues. We don't get into social issues. Okay. <laughs> Understanding that it's a topic yeah. that's there, but yeah, generally not so much in our direction. Okay, well... Just uh, thought it might be it. Okay, well, but I'm sure there are lots of great nice people who can answer your questions. Thank you, then. Like that. Thank you.